Well, what's up guys? So, um, we have a little bit of a combo video for you today, a little bit of a vlog style, kind of mail time, and we figured we'd throw it up, see what you guys thought. Um, it's gonna be covering just the last few days. We had a friend of ours come by with one of their tool trucks, which is actually pretty cool. I wanna showcase that here in just a bit. But I actually got something today in the mail. <laughs> and a friend of mine, Justin, Justin Provitt, uh, he has a uh, LS7 vet, and he got these tire stickers. And at first I was like looking at him, I was like, Man, those don't look cool, <laughs> you know? Who the hell puts tire stickers in their car? But they really fit really well on his car. The vet really, really stands up. Let me see if I can get a picture in for you. I think it looks cool. Let me know what you guys think. And I've seen a lot of other cars with them too. So that being said, I know there's a lot of, not controversy, but a lot of criticism when it comes to tire stickers. So that being said, um, tirestickers.com sent this out a set of stickers, uh, four sets actually, and what it is, it's actually really funny. So it's, we got it in the Toyo font since I have Toyo tires, but it actually, instead of getting the Toyo logo, check this out guys. So it comes in a small package like this, tire stickers. Um, seems really affordable, they don't charge a lot. Uh, I don't know what it would be for four sets, but um, the prices look pretty solid. I think Justin said he paid like 150 bucks for a couple sets and then they come with permanent stickers. So they have temporary and permanent. These are the permanent ones. They said the temporary ones really don't last long at all. They're really good for like photo shoots, stuff like that. So with that being said, if you really want to keep them on your tires and you don't have that much, you know, cash to burn, uh, definitely get for the permanent set. So I want to show you guys what these are and how they look. And we haven't put them on the car yet, but I think it's hilarious and I think it's awesome. So, so instead of Toyo tires, <laughs> It's Malacca tires. <laughs> so instead of Malacca, it's going to be Malacca Motorsports, which is actually pretty cool. Um, so, I mean, I don't know if we're going to put it on the RS3 or so on and so forth. Let me see if we can get motor. Here we go. So Malacca Motor Motorsports. Oh, they put the ports separately, but we have to, I mean, I guess we could stick them together whenever we want. But so I guess, let me see if I can have this upside down. Um, crap. Let's see what I can do here. So I guess these would go on different sections of the tires. So Malacca Motorsports, uh, ports, but the S is at the end of motors. So it's actually pretty cool. <laughs> so I want to share this with you. So are those Toyo tires? No, those are Malacca Motorsports tires. <laughs> and I think it's awesome. So I think, I think we're gonna take the dive. I think we're gonna throw them on. Um, they're, with the adhesive, they say they're pretty permanent, so we can't remove them but we go through tires like crazy in our cars anyway. So if we ended up not liking them, we'll, we'll swap out tires once they get worn out. But I think this is pretty cool. I think it looks pretty cool. And uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I think it's hilarious. Would you guys rock a set of these on your tires for whatever reason? Um, you know, that being said, for speaking of rocking, our shirts came in. We are testing them. We are seeing how the quality is. This is the first vendor that we're dealing with. So far, they feel really nice. We're going to see what they look like once we wash them a couple times. And in a week or two, once we deem uh, the quality is good enough, we'll list them for you guys if you guys want to pick up a few on our e-store. So that being said, uh, let's kick off the video for when our friends Wendy and Sean came by with their tool truck. I hope you guys are having a great Friday, and uh, we'll see you guys in the next episode. Keep watching. Stick around to the end. It's actually pretty funny. Malaka. <laughs> good morning. Good late afternoon. Um, I was taking a quick, like, powwow nap, and uh, I got a text from our friends Wendy and Sean, and uh, <laughs> they said they're outside in their, their tool truck. I'm like, what the hell are you guys talking about? So they came to visit, and they came with their tool truck. They sell... Uh, Really, really cool tools out of their truck. Really, really cool like accessories and stuff. So I figured I'd show you guys that in this regular ass neighborhood, we're getting tool trucks to come by and pay us a personal visit. You guys know V8, the RS, and of course the broken narrow body. <laughs> so if you guys ever get a chance to, uh, give our friends Wendy and Sean a shout out at Gear Wrench. <laughs> let's let's see what they got. <laughs> what do you guys got here? Tools. Got tools, equipment, diagnostic equipment. <laughs> yeah, everything you need to work on now. 
you know, everything for your bill. No, you never have everything. <laughs> So I was, I'm sorry I look like crap, I was uh, I was half asleep and then Wendy gave me a text, she's like, you're home? And I was like, I almost lied, I was like, no, I'm not home, but I was like, yeah, I'm home, I'm in bed, I'm laying down, and she's like, I'm right outside, I'm like, shit. So, um, Wendy and Sean are really, really good friends of ours, they have a really cool home business now that they're part of, and they sell these really cool tools out of their truck that they go around mobily. You guys have seen Snap-on trucks and so on and so forth, but they're part of Gear Wrench, which sells some really cool accessories. Which I won't lie to you, I think I may grab some stuff for myself as well. He's gonna get it wrapped. It's actually really cool. Look at that. Yeah. And cool diagnostic equipment too. Sockets. Air tools. And some stuff towards the front over there too. Yeah. Some stuff. Another kind of. Platform. Check this out, guys. Maybe the quarter inch, maybe. Try to make it more <laughs> I think we're gonna pick one up. But they have one brighter in LED. This is like just a regular bulb. So I'm gonna get the giant one on the floor. Oh, you buying the big one? And then I guess like my Malaka moccasins. I have those on there, they look kind of dirty. I'm sorry. Yeah, we're gonna get the light. This one and then the small one's pretty cool. Look at this little one. So it's magnetic, right? Magnetic, folds in and out. Does all kinds of angles and then you can turn it on. And then you got a forward light too if you need it. Look how bright that thing is. Pick one up so we can stick inside the base somewhere. We'll do work underneath the car. Oh, and I won't drop it and break it. Let's see. Durability test. Still works. Okay, we're buying it. Million dollars? Alright, let me get you, uh, get you a total here. <laughs> My Malaga credit score here. is like 400. Credit score is like 400. <laughs> I did a durability test on one of them, Sean, and it, and it passed, so we're, we're buying one. Look at this thing. So what do you guys sell out of? Do you guys travel just in Antelope Valley, or you guys go anywhere? Just Palm Mill, Little Rock, Acton, and Port Hill. You guys have an active Facebook page, Instagram for gear Yes, you do. SMW Tools um, is our Facebook page. We're currently working on that. Um, we don't have a website set up. That's something in the near future we'll be setting up. Um, phone number. If you guys are interested Boom. in giving us a call or a text, we can get essentially anything. If they don't have it, if we can't find it, they don't make it. <laughs> support your friends. They'll support you one day. So I have this feta cheese that I'm gonna be bringing in from Greece. You guys are gonna be buying that now that I'm buying tools or what? We're gonna yeah. do a deal? Feta cheese. See? It's gonna have our, our big salad. It's Colombian feta cheese. It's Colombian feta cheese. <laughs> All right, guys, it, like I said before, when you guys get a chance, check out Sean and Wendy Lou. Uh, they have uh, a beautiful truck that they sell tools out of. The tools look really, really cool. We're picking up a big light, we're picking up a small light, and we're gonna have some fun. Good friends of ours, Volkswagen Audi people too. So if you guys are in Antelope Valley, you guys in Palmdale, Lancaster, check them out, okay? Give them some support. All right, Malakas, we'll talk to you guys later.